Hello guys, welcome back to the short of my six. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I have a video where this guy is number one on my list. It is was supposed to be a video that was uploaded, but I found out I can't really upload that many videos a day. I mean, not on a day, a... Frick. I can't upload over 10 minute videos, so this one's going to be a quick one. So, let's get on to the player who I do not like the most. Let's go. He started out in Pittsburgh, had seven years there, and went to San Francisco after that. His name is Barry Bonds, slash Reggie Stalker. I don't like him for many reasons. No one likes him for many reasons. Steroids. Cheating. Steroids. Cheating. Steroids. Giants. Steroids. Cheating. Uh, yeah. So... I'm going to say right now, like I say in most of my other videos, which include this, I am looking on a website to see his stats, ESPN.com, slash MLB, slash player, slash stat, slash underscore, no, no, underscore, yeah, underscore, slash ID, slash 151785, slash Barry Bonds. <sighs> I credited him. There you go, freaking YouTube. So, this man started out crap. You know... He, in his first seven years, wasn't getting that many home runs. But when he joined San Francisco, he was like, Hooray! So, 46 home runs in his first season with San Francisco. This is all San Francisco. 37, 33, 42, 40, 37, 34, 49, 73 which was his complete breakout season in 2001, people thought, oh my gosh, this man legend, and I better do what most people do and have their chair fall down. Yeah, amazing, right? No, because Barry Bonds, because Barry Bonds is not a cool man. He's cruel. He's cruel. He, oh, frick. Oh my gosh, sorry about that, guys. No. There we go. He cheated many people out of records. He beat Hang Aaron's record, which was a cheap thing to do. So, frick you, Barry Bonds. 726 home runs. Why does anyone care? Like, really? Why does anyone care? When did he become a 40-40 man? Oh, in 1996. So, Barry Bonds, let's just get on to the rant. The seven-time MVP. Yes, I said that right. Seven-time MVP. Am I? Yeah, I'm counting that right. I'm counting that right. Three-time Hank Aaron Award. Really? Baseball? A man who has cheated. Hank Aaron. You know what? No. Change the Hank Aaron Award to the Barry Bonds Award. Because that's obviously what it represents. The Barry Bonds Award. So, change it. No, I'm just freaking kidding. Don't change it because he cheated. Don't give him anything. Erase his records. He's the... Literally, everybody has been saying his records should be erased. They should. They should. Barry Bonds, you're a cheater. You are a cheater. Jeez. Yeah. I've calmed down a little bit. And I am using a really clicky mouse, so bear with me. But yeah, Barry Bonds is just a cheater. I've literally been saying that this whole thing, but it's true. All his records should be erased. So, for example, let's have a pitcher like and Andy Pennant. He also did steroids. But I bet you he has pitched against Barry Bonds. Any records, any no-hitters, anything that has been against Barry Bonds should be erased because this man should be erased. He's a stain in baseball history along with all of the other steroid users. Their records should just be erased because 
there are users are laced in the record books. They're laced in the record books. It's sad. It is really sad. Like, really, really sad. I'm sorry guys, but this is just a video, a rant, a mad talk of Barry Bonds because he doesn't deserve to be playing baseball or have all his awards or his seven MVPs. He doesn't deserve them. Take them back like they do with the Olympic gold medals. They take them back if they found out you cheated and then they ban you. Pete Rose didn't even do steroids, and he was banned from baseball. All he did was gamble. <sighs> I mean, I guess he did his time. I don't agree. I'll see you guys in the next video.